David, is it not enough? Why don't you want to give me grandchildren? Huh? Tell me. Mom, stop it. You will have your grandkids when it is time. Okay, stop it. Stop all this. I don't like it. I know you feel the same way too. Okay? But you don't have to keep quiet. Open your mouth and talk to your wife. Talk to your wife. I want grandchildren. Mom, will you stop blaming her? Wait, let me finish. A man is not complete without children. Did you hear me? Mom, I don't want to hear this because you're starting to piss me off. <laughs> you will not blame her for any of this. Okay, will you... David! David, I want children. I want grandchildren. David, talk to her. I want children. Did you hear what I said? I want my children. Yes! I've asked you times without count not to bring this kind of talks to me. What is weird in this discussion? My wife is... Oh, Mama, stop this, please. Look, I have two girls. Responsible. You can choose one and marry. They are well trained. So I know their wombs are still intact. Okay, okay, you know what, this is it. This is it, Mom. Mama. Mama, please, leave my house. Hmm? Leave my house. Baby, I've been looking all over for you. Baby, you've been crying. Why? What's wrong? Why are you crying, baby? Come on. I overheard a discussion with your mother. I am sorry. I am so sorry for causing you problems. Shh, you're not a problem. Baby, you're not a problem. Don't say that. Okay? In due time, we will have our own children. Besides, marriage is not all about having children. I love you. But of what use am I as a woman if my womb can't give you children? I feel worthless. Hey, hey, don't ever say that about but yourself. But it's the truth. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. I love you regardless of whatever. In due time, we will have our children. Okay, okay. I love you so much. came here a few days ago. I have made it clear that I have no intentions of having another wife, Mom. Do you think my mind would have changed in a few days, Mom? David, I came here on behalf of the family. A family meeting was held because of you. We care so much about you. Mm. Okay. Mm. You care so much about me. 
and your way of showing it is by forcing your opinion on me in my marriage. <laughs> hmm? David, marriage without children is nothing, okay? Tell me, who will take care of you when you're old? Huh? Who will send you off when you're dead? Nobody. Nobody. So, you have to think. We care so much about you. You have to think. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, just hold on. Take this. Call her. Her name is Pamela. Okay? Get to know her. Hmm? Make me proud. Let us know that you're a real man down there. Baby. Babe. Why are you still in this mood? Babe, you need to stop this. You can't keep doing this to yourself. You can't keep doing this to me. I checked your calendar. I noticed you missed your period. You didn't tick the box for this month. Yeah. It could be something, my love. It could be something. But babe, I've been late before and nothing happened. But we need to so stay let's home. not get excited. Baby, we need to stay hopeful. Anything can happen. Please, get some rest. I want you to be in a good place. I want you to stay hopeful. Promise me you'll never leave me. I know that things may look really, really bad for us right now. It's not your fault. This is not your fault. And I will never leave you. Promise. I love you. I love you. I promise. I'm sorry, but you need to rest and stay hopeful. Okay. Thank you. Just come. I promise I'll cuddle you all night. I know you like that. Nothing, it's just business. Some client I need to go see. Business? Yeah, I have a client I need to go see right now. We have something important to discuss. 
Really? Now? Yes. When will you be back? I, I don't know. I haven't met this person before and we have a lot to talk about, so... I, I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. So you're not going to have breakfast before leaving? No, 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 no. I won't. You just get some rest. I'll grab something after the meeting. Okay? Okay. Hey, brother. Uh, uh, Helen, you didn't tell me you were coming over. Right. I wanted to let you know about some things. Apparently, David's mother has been visiting the house, saying that he needs to take another wife because I'm not able to give better a child for him. What? Are you serious? Yes. She even said that there are girls on standby waiting for him to pick one of them. I, 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 so what did he say? Like, has his attitude changed? No, it hasn't. Okay, good. But anyway, I have good news for you. Hmm. What is it? On one condition. You have to promise me not to say anything until I'm ready to tell my husband. Okay, sure. I hope everything is okay. Everything is perfect. Okay. Anyway, are you ready to hear the good news? Come on, man. Stop putting me in suspense. Now, what is it? You got a new job. No. <clears throat> Are you ready? I am. Well, your sister is pregnant. Stop. I am pregnant. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh my God, like now? <laughs> yeah, like. Oh, oh is it? I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Oh Thank my you. God, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for At least me you prove them wrong that you're not a barren woman. Right! Oh yes. my god! <laughs> this deserves a celebration. Come, come. What, what, what are Let's you trying to do? Let's go drink, no! No, 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 you know, drinking is not good for the baby. No! <laughs> no don't worry, red wine, it's red wine. Okay, Let's go! Right. Oh my god! Congrats, sis! What's up? Hey sis, did you two get home safe? Yeah, I did. Just kind of tired. What's up with you? Just take care and call me when you need anything. Once you're ready to tell him, okay? Sure, I will. All right, bye. Oh, hey, babe. You're back. You're home late. What happened? <sighs> Nothing. I. I told you, I had meetings all day. Mm, meetings all day. Yeah. Is that the reason why you didn't take my calls? Baby. I'm sorry. I. Hung out with William, after the meeting, and we spent half of the day together. Oh, with Williams? Yeah, your brother. Who else? <sighs> we played video games and um, I just forgot to pick up my phone. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, baby. It's real. How's my baby doing? 
fine. I'm fine. That's good. <laughs> I hope you've had dinner because I am so tired. I just want to shower and sleep. Okay, that's fine. I'll join you. Thank you, baby. Williams? What's going on? Hey, baby, good morning. You're awake. Yeah. David, what exactly is going on? Well, I'm going out, obviously. I, you know, have a meeting. On a Saturday? <sighs> yeah, well, so I have these clients. We've been talking. The last time we met, we didn't come to any resolution. So now I'm going out there, you know, trying to make sure to see how this ends well, where it leads us. Babe, you work day in and day out. But not on a Saturday. Saturdays are the only times we get to spend time together. Baby, I know. I know. I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay? Okay? I'll be back. See you soon.
Hello, Mama. How is it going? Ah, everything is going on fine, Mama. We have plans to see each other today. You know, to get to know each other more. Hope you look good. Men are moved by what they see. Ah, ah, ah Mama, trust me now. I have everything well packaged so everything can be revealing for him to see. Yes, Mama. <coughs> Mama, I think he's here. I'll call you back later. Yes, Mama. <laughs> You know, I thought you were not going to make it today, you know, since our long day yesterday. Well, I enjoyed it. And besides, I told you I would come. <laughs> and it really helped me get my mind off things, so it's okay. Okay. I know this might seem a little far-fetched since we barely know each other. But I really missed you. And I believe we could do a lot of things together. Pamela, I... Don't, don't worry. Come on. It's just us here. job. Take it easy, okay? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> right, you're almost there. Keep going. Right. <laughs> careful. Take it easy, okay? Uh -huh. One more. Perfect. <laughs> Be careful. Um, Right. What's going on? It feels like we're going round and Relax, round the house. we're almost there. Oh. We're here. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Uh, Ta-da! Food? Just uh, open it. Go ahead, open it. Pregnant baby. <laughs> How long? A month. Months. Oh my God, <laughs> baby. Thank God. Yes, baby, we're pregnant. Okay, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so What? Pamela, you must be joking. No, this must be a joke. But David, this is good news for us. Pamela, don't joke with me. Stop this. Where are you? I'm home. I'm coming. I'm coming there right now. We need to have this conversation face to face. Okay. I said don't call me. What is wrong with you? I'm coming over. We need to talk about this. I'm coming. What's, what's going on? I need to go out. I have some errands to run, some, some, uh, uh, some things I need to do. By this time, it's late. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? I'll just go. No, 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 no. You, you stay back. Um, take care of yourself and my baby. I'll be back soon, okay? <laughs> baby, I promise I'll be back. Don't wait for me, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, I'll be back. It's, it's, it's urgent. It's late. Hi, honey. Honey? Good news. Honey? Honey? Are you mad? What is wrong with you? Pamela, there's no us. Okay, there's no we. What do you mean there is no we? David, I'm pregnant. First of I'm all, carrying our child. First of all, there is no our, there's no we. This is all a big mistake. Okay, I have a family and I'm facing them properly. I only came here to tell you that whatever this is, it is over between us. I'm calling it quits. What do you mean? I it's said it over. is over. I'm calling it quits. I don't want anything to do with you. Okay? This was all a big mistake. I have a family and I'm going to face them properly. Please, please calm down, dude. 
Steve, we had fun. Oh, we even have feelings for each other. This was not just the fun game. Don't you me. get it that I have a family? You can't keep this baby! What is wrong with you? Okay, Dave, please just calm down. My name is not Dave. <laughs> My name is David! Dave. Pamela, you need to stop this nonsense! <laughs> I don't know you. I have no feelings. The only reason why I did this was because of my mother. Now it is over. I don't want anything to do with you. So stay away from me. Stay away. Dave, please. Dave! Wait. 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 Mama, it's me. Mama, I'm pregnant. Hey, that is good news. Is that tears no, of joy? No, Mama, it's not tears of joy. Mama, he rejected the pregnancy. Mama, please, please help me talk to him. I can't raise this child on my own. <laughs> There's nothing going on, baby. You should be sleeping. That doesn't answer my question. What exactly is going on? Wait, are you seeing another woman? No. What? Baby, come on. No, I, I'm. I just stepped out to run some errands and get some job done. Because All right. I don't understand your behavior these days. And then, all of a sudden, you, your movements. Are you hiding something from me? No. Didn't you just tell me? Is there something I need to know? There's nothing going on. I promise. You can trust me on this. There's nothing going on. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let me just take a shower and I'll show you everything I'm working on. Okay? My wife is here. Can you keep it down? And so what? And so what? If she's here, uncle, eh? I told you to do away with that girl. Do away with her. Pamela is your woman. I mean, I have no connection with Pamela. She's just some random girl that you forced on me. <laughs> I forced on you. I forced on you. Eh? Did I follow you there? Did you see me there? Or did I pull down your trouser and do the deed that got her pregnant? It is now proven that you are not at fault. And that bad woman is at fault. Mama, please, 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 just stop this nonsense. Stop what? Let her hear. Hear, hear my voice. Let her hear. Let, do away with that girl. We don't want her here anymore. Do you hear me? We don't want her. There is no room for any bad woman Mama, in this house. Mama, stop calling my wife. Listen to me. Okay? Let Pamela come in and fill this house with children. That's what I want! You're impossible. I'm impossible. Helen is not barren. My wife is not barren. Really? Helen, yes, she's pregnant right now. Huh? 
That's what I've been trying to tell you all evening. Pregnant? Preg 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 oh my god. Who is pregnant? Hi, baby. Who is pregnant? Hey. Oh Who is Pamela? I am asking you a question. Baby, Who is Pamela? Baby, I can explain. I can explain. I'm so sorry. you. I can explain. Mm. You cheated on me with another woman? And now she's pregnant for you? No, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not as simple as you she think. It's so unbelievable. Baby, please, just let me, let me explain. See, baby. I don't want to hear anything from you. Baby, it's a bad Stay idea. Don't do that. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Listen to me. If anything uh, should happen uh, to my wife or my marriage, I will never forgive you. Uh, 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 David! Baby! Mr. David, yeah, doctor. How's my wife? She's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank God. Thank God. What about the baby? I'm so sorry, but we couldn't save her. We already lost her before she got here. I'm so sorry, Mr. Just... David. You decided not to show up. I told you. That's because I don't want a divorce. I don't. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. And you think being sorry can fix it? You think being sorry can fix what's broken? David, please. Please, I beg you. Sign these papers and let's stop this whole back and forth. Baby, I made a mistake. I'm trying to fix this. Just Give me a chance, please. I beg you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I have decided to bring that to you. Please, sign it. And when you're done, you can give it to me or my lawyer. Babe. The next time we'll be meeting, we'll be discussing how to split the properties. Babe, please. I'm done here. Baby, babe, please, I'm begging you. Just. Babe, I am not going to split. Listen, I'm not signing anything. I'm not signing anything. We're going to talk. We're going to fix this. We are not fixing nothing. I am tired of this sham of a marriage. Yes, our marriage is not a sham. I made a mistake. It can be fixed. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry, it can't be fixed. <clears throat> Aren't you tired? Because I am tired. 
So please just sign the papers. Is it by force? <sighs> I'm not going to split anything. If you want to be a part of the property, you can go ahead. You can have it. I don't care. But I love you. And I'm not giving you a divorce. I'm not. Look, I'm not. Okay, I am not. Please. Well, I hope you know that there is more where this came from. And you'll keep getting them until you sign it. Yes, I just sent the link for the Zoom meeting in the group now. So all of you should join in the next 30 minutes so we can discuss the redesign of the oil company's website, okay? Yeah, so why won't Grace be joining us? Okay, fine. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Just get everybody ready. Hey, sis. How did it go with the lawyers? He didn't show up again. This whole thing is driving me crazy. I even took the divorce papers to his house, let him sign it, and then he still refused. Bosses, he has been begging you. Don't you think it's time you give him a listening ear? There's no need for that. He should have thought about that. Do you know the pain I went through? I lost a child, my child. Do you know how difficult it was for me to, 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 to even get pregnant? I think, you know what? I can't forgive him. Sis, come I, on. Please, Sis. since you don't want to listen to me, it's fine. You're not well, going to console me I and you're going to keep it, talking about him. Well, as, a Christ, as a Christian, you should learn to forgive uh, and forget. Please just leave me alone. Helen. Since you know anytime I see you like this, it breaks my heart. I just I just want to tell you that everything will be fine. Everything cannot be fine. You knew how hard it was for me before I got pregnant. You knew the insults I had to face from his mother. And then what did he do? He ruined everything. He made me lose my child. And it feels like that a simple sorry can change everything. No. It can't. It won't. I can't forgive him. I will never forgive him. I promise you you're going to have another child. I promise you. Okay. Just take it easy on yourself. Please. feeling to be honest I'm not okay 
on Helen. It's been months since your child died. It's been months. You have a new chance at life. Helen, leave it. Okay? But... Hey, listen, there are no buts. Okay? There are no buts. You have a new chapter ahead of you and you're going to leave it. Don't wallow in this story. It's been long already. Okay? It's been too long. So, what do you have in mind? No, that's better. That's, that's better. Um, first of all, we start from making your favorite meal. Then we'll see a movie. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do something exciting. Really? Mm -hmm. So what's my favorite? Uh, depending on your mood, you know, it changes. I'll get the right one. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Let me start making something, OK? Okay, you want to make something? Yes. Better don't put too much salt in it. You mean salt me? <laughs> Babe, please, I'm running out of patience. Just a minute, hold on, hold on. Okay. There you go. Babe. Yes. What is this? What, what are we celebrating? We are celebrating a new life. A new beginning filled with happiness. What? But the papers haven't been signed yet and David is still holding on. Hey babe, listen. I don't care. He ruined something very beautiful he had. I have it now. And I know what I have. But babe... Hey, listen, listen. I don't care if he holds on or he lets go. What I know is that you are mine and I'm not letting go. Hold on. That part. I planned it all for you, baby. Just to us. To us. Mm -hmm. mm. oh. That's nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, who that is? William. What's going on? What do you want? Where is my wife? Where is Helen? I've been trying to call her and she's not picking up. She's not here. And if she's not picking up your calls, it means she doesn't want to see you here. What's the meaning of that talk now? Are, are we not guys anymore? You're my guy, yes, but she's my sister first. And she's hot. She probably stepped out for some air. Where? Are you listening to me? Please, I'm just trying to know where she is because I need to talk to her. Dave, I don't want her to come here and meet you, thereby stirring up her emotions again. Get out. If you break my door, you pay.
I'm sorry For the things I do But the pain I cause you oh, I'm going through a lot Please don't give up on the love that we share Cause I'm the one Sorry, but please, can we just talk about this? We have nothing to talk about. The only place we can talk is in the presence of our lawyer. I want us to sign the divorce papers and move on with our lives. I'm not giving you a divorce. Baby, I'm not. I'm sorry. I made a mistake, but we can resolve it. You can't just throw everything we have to the wind because of one mistake, please. One mistake indeed. Is it a part where you lied to me? Or the part where you constantly visited her? Or the part where she got pregnant for you? Where? Which one? Babe. Please. David, don't babe me. Please, some people can be listening. Can we just relax? <laughs> you don't want them to hear. You don't want them to hear about your sex habit, hmm? David, I lost my child. You knew how difficult it was for me to get pregnant. But yet you ruined everything. I'm sorry. And you think, what? Coming here? Can make me change my mind, I'm really? I'm sorry, I just want to talk. Can we just, just sit down and talk, please? Please, I'm sorry. I do not want to talk to you. Baby. Next time we're seeing, it should be in front of the lawyers. And please, be ready to sign the divorce papers. Honey, please, can we just... Can you just leave me alone? I... Just go. This whole marriage is over. Helen, but I am... I... You are you okay? Yes. Okay. I was done here. Good. I'm sorry for the things I do, but the pain I cause you. Oh, I'm going through a lot. She's seen another man. What do you want me to say? Listen to me, you're my friend, you can just talk to me. It's a simple say? question. You want me to say yes so that you could go fight him or what? Okay, why are you talking like this now? What, what, what are you saying? Bro, forget the fact that you're my friend. But my sister is the one that's hurt here. And I'm not hurt. You think this doesn't hurt me too? Bro, she is the one that lost a child. She is the one that has been inside the room crying for months before she started finding another reason to leave. And he's the reason for her to leave. Really? Bro, if he gives her joy, why not? William, she's still my wife. We're still legally married. She's my wife. Yes, she's still your wife because you have refused to sign the papers. She wasn't the one that ran off and cheated using her mom as an and excuse. I've been trying to make amends, but no one is giving me a chance. What do you want me to do? Bro, she's human. You're my guy, yes. And I got you, man. I got you for life. But bro, you hurt my sister so, so bad. And I can't help you right now. Baby. Hey, babe. Hey. Thank you. What are you doing? It's my mom's birthday next week, and I'm completely lost on what to get for her. Hmm. What did you get her last year? Um, set of pots. <laughs> <laughs> what? Set of pots? Are you for real? Yes, now. The last time I got her something very expensive. She gave it to her neighbor, said it was too nice.
And that's why you got her pot. Just now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Why don't you get her something that is nice and expensive that she can't give out? Nice, expensive that she can My mother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like wrapper, shoe, and a post to match. How about that? That is a brilliant idea. How do I go about that? What do you mean? That's why you have me here. We can go tomorrow and get it together, then keep it till next week when it's our birthday. Wow. I mean, oh, yeah. <clears throat> what can I do without you, baby? Nothing. Have you? <laughs> Come here. Now let me go and show you what I can do in the kitchen. What you can do? Oh my God. <laughs> You have a dirty wait, mind. Wait, are you trying to make me look like a bad way? It's mine. Mine. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see what you can do in the kitchen. Okay, so we'll be having Chef Jack. Let's see what he has for me today. Chef Jack in the building. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. You have this to better this. be great. Listen, you have to taste this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think? This is so good. Like, this is the best I've had in a while. Dang it, man. <laughs> Wait until you taste other things I can make. Mm. Tell me about it. No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you know what? Next time you make one for me, I'll make one for you. What do you think? Sounds like a good idea. Mm-hmm. Make a plan, yeah? Yeah. Good. All right. Um, I need to take this card. Right. Sure, sure, sure. I'll clean up. All right. Hello? She did even eat it plenty, to serve. I'll just clean up. Hey, babe. Hey, babe, are you okay? Yeah, I was just thinking, but I'm fine. Oh, come on now. I'm here, okay? Calm down, all right? Take it easy. All right, so tell me how did the call go? My old patient, he called, he wants me to take care of his mom. Oh, really? Yeah. Said that his mother is sick and their old caregiver traveled to their hometown and he needs me to come take care of her. I think you should take it. Yes, I mean, to be the first time since the... The accident? Yes, that you're going to work. And I think it's a good timing too because, I mean, to take your mind off things for a while till you heal completely. And to also fetch you some money instead of you sitting at home all day crying, okay? I think so. I think you should take it, Mama. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you for the care, everything. I really do appreciate. You're welcome, baby. Trust me, everything is going to fall in place. All right? Just give it time, OK? OK. <laughs> Helen, it's 7 a.m. and it's not too early for a date. <laughs> no, I'm not going for a date. Hmm. Okay. So what's the occasion? I got a job. An old patient of mine wants me to take care of his sick mom for a good pay, so. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank really you. Nice. And with everything going on this period, I think that will be a very good distraction. Yeah. Um, you know anything you do, I will always support you. Oh, thank you. But just be fine for me. That's all I ask. I will. <laughs> and then again, your friend, he has refused to come for the meeting with the lawyer. You should forget about it because nothing is going to change. <sighs> Can we not spoil this mood, please? Oh, yeah. 
Call it go work. Don't keep the old lady waiting. Jack Call says he wants to be the first person to take me to work. Hmm. <sighs> you and Jack. <laughs> All right, brother. Okay, hug, hug. Sure. Mm -hmm. Have a nice Later. Day. Bye. Yeah. What's up? Do I know you? No, you don't. But you know my wife. <laughs> Your what? Helen. I'm her husband. Maybe she didn't tell you. But she's still married to me. So I have come to plead with you. Please. Look, Mr. David. Trust me, I do not appreciate all this. All this, I do not. Please, I'm begging you to stay away from my wife. Just leave her for me. I'm trying to fix my marriage. I'm trying to fix my home. I'm not ready to let go. I'm not ready to leave her for anyone else. So I'm here to beg you man to man to please leave her alone. She's still my wife. We're still legal with my... Even if she's angry with me. Look, Mr. David, not the guy you have issues with. It's your wife. If she doesn't want you, what can I say? All right? What can I say? That's why I'm here to beg you. Beg you what? As, as a, a man? As a man? Please, bro, leave. All right? Leave. Like now. You're not responding. What's going on? Your husband. He confronted me today. What? David? Why? He met me on my way out to the restaurant and told me to stay away from you. He did that? Like, why would he do a thing like that? I already told him to sign the divorce papers. Why would he go up and down telling things like that? Telling me to stay away from you, that he wants to fix his home. Like, can you imagine? Oh, I see. No, 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 no. Where, where, where are you going to? If he can go up and down telling people things, then I need to confront him. I'll be back. Jack, why? I told you that this marriage is over and the next thing went about embarrassing my man. No, baby, don't say that. There's no other man for you but me. Oh, please stop. Baby, I'm sorry, but I'm a mess without you. You should have thought about that before going pants down on another woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'm sorry, please. I am done. I don't want this marriage anymore. And please respect that, okay? I don't want to drive all the way down to this place to warn you again. Baby, please, I'm begging you. I'm sorry. Can you at least just... 
Yeah, come in. Helen. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were inside there. Oh, it's fine. What are you doing? <sighs> Just trying to wash my hands. Earlier today, I was really upset, but I'm fine now. What happened? Can you imagine? David confronted Jack. You don't mean it. I am serious. And then I went to his house and I confronted him. I told him never to try it again. Afterwards, I went to my patient's house and the needle that I used on her kind of pricked me, but... Pricked you? Yeah. Oh my God, let me see. I thought you were supposed to wear gloves. I know. I just wasn't thinking properly, but I'm fine. So sorry. I will. I beg. Well, dinner is served. You can freshen up and come downstairs. Okay. I'm waiting for you. All right, you need uh, to take it easy with this your job. Huh? I just wasn't thinking properly. Okay, I'm waiting for you, okay? Okay, just give me a few minutes. Uh, okay, let me go back. Hey, hey babe. babe. I didn't expect to see you here. I'm sorry. I just needed a place that I can concentrate. Oh, really? How did your day go? Aside from the fact that David keeps disturbing me, my day has been hectic. All right. Tell me about it. Well, there's this patient of mine. We keep treating her and she's not responding. Oh. Have you guys run any tests yet? Yes. Malaria, typhoid. Oh. And she has malaria plus plus, despite treating her a few days ago. I don't want to even talk about the diarrhea she's having mm. and all of that. Now, she has sore throat <laughs> and she has rashes. I think she's reacting to something. It's not normal. Mm. Okay, so? Well, I have sent some of her samples to the lab. Yeah. Hopefully we get something. I don't know why she's not responding, and it's not normal. You know, if she was normal, you would not have this job in the first place. <laughs> Stop it. I can't wait for the result to be back. Like, I want to know what's wrong with her. Don't worry. You will see the result, okay? okay. After you freshen up now. You look tired. I do, yeah? <laughs> don't forget to rest later, all right? I will. Have fun, baby. See you in a minute. Okay, babes. Hi, hello. Oh yeah, I have been expecting your call. What is the state of my patient? Because her health is really deteriorating. What? HIV? Oh. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Right. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. Lord. I need to, I need to pray to me. I need to. I need to. Hey, what's it? Hanido, Hanido pricked me, William. Hanido pricked me. Who? The lab just called now that that patient of mine. Yes? They said she has HIV. My fear now is the fact that Hanido pricked me, so. Oh I am just worried. I need to get tested. Um, yes, I'll just. Just go to the uh, you know what? You know what? Let me just drive don't it to the hospital. Don't worry, don't worry. Just a test, okay? Let Are me you just sure? go change. Don't worry. I said, don't worry.
driver. Says I've been trying to call Jack for some few hours now and he's not picking up his calls. Same here. Since I broke the news to him, he has refused to call me. He's not even taking my calls anymore. Neither is he responding to my messages. See, is everything be okay? Don't get it. How is HIV okay? How is it going to be okay? Sis, don't worry. My life is just going from bad to worse. As if losing my child is not enough, and now this. something please I know you are pained I understand but crying would not change anything Jack is not picking up my calls he's not returning my calls or my text messages and then I went to his house okay. and he opened the gate I feel so alone. I don't even know what's going on. I feel so lonely. I don't know. I'm so frustrated. It's okay, sis. It's okay, mm. but... I know and I understand, but... You have to stop thinking about Jack and eat something. You've not been eating of late and... It's not good. You need to be strong for what is to come. See? You can live a normal life. All you need to do is just take your medication and everything will be fine, I promise you. Why me? Why me? Sis, stop it. Why is my life sis, like stop this? Stop it, stop it, sis. Why is all these things happening to me? Who did I offend? Sis, sis, it's okay. Sis, I feel like you should give David a listening ear. Excuse me. After what he did to me. Sis, I know you're angry. I know you. I know he messed up, but you. Sis. Excuse me, please. Sis, I didn't mean it like. Okay, just come and eat something. Helen. Hello, where are you? What did I just hear you say to me on the phone? That my wife has what? And nobody called me? William! But I'm telling you now. And she doesn't even want you to know. Dave, my sister is suffering and, and it breaks me. This whole drama started from, from way back up to this point. Everything that happened is 
It really, really hurt her. I promise that I'm never going to leave her. Right? That's my promise. That's, that's the promise I made. Dear, what are you doing? I'm going to look for my wife. What were you thinking? You think that piece of information is going to scare me? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. So how are you going to tell her that you found out? You think that's what's important right now? See, Dave, she doesn't want you to know. And she still doesn't want you anywhere around her. I just don't like, as my guide, I, I, I should just tell you. And I should! I should. I'm her husband. She's my wife. I'm her responsibility. She's my responsibility. You think some stupid sickness is going to stop me from taking care of my wife? Stop asking me silly questions. Now I'm going to look for my wife because I love her. You were avoiding me because of what I told you. Babe, we need to talk. Talk about what? Listen, okay? I don't think we're going to work anymore. This, us, we're not going to work. What are you talking about? <laughs> Babe, listen, I have already thought about it. I've made up my mind. I'm, not, I'm no longer interested in, in, in this. Okay? Hey. I'm tired of avoiding you. I just need to set things straight. I, 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 can't, I can't bear this. I can't. I really can't. But I thought you said you loved me. Listen, see, I understand, okay? I'm going to try. I'll take my drugs. I'll be good. You won't get infected. We can get married. We can have our kids. And nobody's hey, hey, going hey, to hey. know. Please listen, don't just listen, break listen. up with me. Listen, listen. Please don't leave me. Listen, I told you already. I've given thoughts to this and... It's the best thing to do. Jack. It's the best thing for Jack, us. Jack, please, I love you. Jack, please. Jack, please. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Please. I can't, I can't do this, okay? Again. Can you just leave? I know. I said, leave! Honey, I know. I know. And I'm here for you. I'm sorry for everything. I'm here for you. I don't care. I just want you to leave this place right now. Tell him to leave! Um, Dave, please leave. I'll never leave you. And I never want to see you again. Baby, I'll never leave you. Dave. Please.
want to see my wife. You can't leave her alone up there. She needs to go to the hospital. She needs food. She needs someone with her. She doesn't want to see you, David. Go and I'll call you when she's ready. I am not leaving her side. She needs me. David. David, you, David. Babe, babe, please just let me see you, please. Let me just know that you're all right, babe. Helen, David, you need to leave now, now. David is outside. And he has been there for hours. He has a house. He should go to his house. Helen, this man has been there for weeks. He has been coming here for weeks, begging day and night. And he also drops foodstuffs too. What? Helen, this man is sorry. We are all humans. We make mistakes. And he doesn't just drop food stuffs. He also drops groceries. And he asked me to call him anytime you need money for drugs. I don't care. He should go. He should leave. See, I had to let him come here every day because that is the only way I can stop him from causing a force. Do you understand? I am so angry. I am so upset with him. I don't want to see him. I understand you, but this man is sorry. And he still loves you. You should be happy that you have a spouse like this that, that still cherishes you. And this guy, no matter what, he's, he has still been here with you for months. He hasn't given up on you. He should have thought about that before doing what he did. He ruined everything. He ruined our marriage. I am so upset. You don't get it. Well, if I couldn't forgive him when I was negative, I can't forgive him now that I am positive. People would think that my forgiveness is conditional. Sis, I just want you to be happy again. Please. Forgive this man, please. Yo, yes? sis. Sis. Yes? Someone is here to see you. Who is that? Um, don't worry, when you come down, you found her. Okay, so Jack. <laughs> who's, who's that? <sighs> Brother. I came to apologize. You have already apologized. For the last time. What I did was stupid. What I did was wrong. It was stupid. Absolutely stupid and ridiculous. And I take full responsibility for it. I'm sorry. David, please, please just go. Okay? Helen, marriage is not something you can just throw away. Everything we shared, everything we sacrificed for one another, it's not something you walk away from. I'm trying here, I'm trying. Please, I'm begging you, I'm sorry. 
I'm really sorry. I take full responsibility for everything. I can't. Baby. I just... I just can't come back. You have a child, David. I can't come back to a house and then meet another woman with a child for you. No, 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 no. She's gone. She's gone, baby. Listen to me. She found out that having a child for me is not enough to keep us together. Okay, I... I we, we both agreed we're going to co-parent the child. And I gave her more than enough money. David. She's left. It's just the both of us, baby. I promise you. It's just the both of us. And then Please. David, I... Baby, I don't care about your HIV status. I, I, I don't care. Nothing in this world will stop me from loving you or stop me from being with you. Nothing, I promise you. We're going to be fine. You've been pregnant for me once and you can do it again. We can still live normal lives. We can be happy. Everything can be good again. It's not a death sentence, please, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really, really sorry about everything. I don't care about the results. I don't care whatever it is. Just know that nothing is ever going to separate me from you ever again. No. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And no more silly mistakes. No. Never. No more silly mistakes ever again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, William, I see you now. Yeah, I see. Finally! 